first of all you go to the private banking system and you see well can I get a private banking loan because I'm strapped for cash I need some support and I'm having trouble paying my overseas bills when the private banks won't lend to you uh, then you've got to do something if you're the leader of a country and typically what you've got to do is to cut back your spending in some way and try and get more money so that the impact of those cutbacks are not as severe as they otherwise would be and it's at that point that you generally come to the IMF what you really need is to sit down with them and say look can I work out a five-year program and in the meantime I am strapped for some cash so can you help me up front get out of the cash bind and then put it in the context of a long-term development plan and they said no long-term development is your problem we are here only to see who do you owe the money to, why you in a bind, and we'll lend you some money in a very short time frame at full interest rate to get you out of the bind. And they then impose upon you tremendous restrictions in what you can spend. And then we reach agreement on a set of measures on the budget, on the exchange rate, on monetary policy, on interest rates, on banks, on maybe privatization, and say, yep, we think this could solve your problem. And you say to them, but if I do it that way, when I finish repaying you, I'm going to be in the bind all over, because this can't solve my problem. They say, not our problem. The whole idea was to set conditions which the government could not meet. And when the government failed to meet them, you would have to renegotiate a new loan in which the conditions became tighter. So the IMF didn't say, cut out this education program or cut out this health program. What the IMF said is, you must spend only so much money on health and education. And the implication of that was that you had to cut out some programs. Essentially, what the IMF wanted us to do was to devalue our currency. That's the first thing, to make our dollar cheaper. They needed to expand their exports and uh, diminish their imports and the best way of doing that is to make foreign currency more expensive and since our society is so heavily dependent on imported food imported fuel imported books to go to school imported medicine when we devalue the cost of those things we import go up to the citizens and as a result the economy today is much more under the control of foreigners not necessarily through direct ownership, but through the mechanism of debt. In the 1970s, we owed $800 million. By the end of the 1980s, we owed $4 billion. Nowadays, we owe $7 billion. So the debt is rising, and all the time the debt is rising, our capacity to export to produce is getting less.